Hey everyone, this is Scott from certmedia.com and in this video I'm covering the async JavaScript plugin. And it's made by the same developers who make auto-optimize, so you know it's gonna be a good plugin. So async JavaScript is a very simple optimization plugin. It's quite literally only meant for you to be able to async and defer your scripts. And it's actually really simple to use. This is useful if you're on a site that you can't use any caching plugins and you try to auto-optimize, for instance, and it isn't working, and you just want to be able to quickly defer your scripts. This plugin makes it really easy to do so. So what you're going to do is you're going to install the plugin, and we're going to go ahead and make a couple changes right away. We're first going to, under the async JavaScript method, we're going to set it to defer. Defer has the advantage of being a little bit more performant for browsers. So we're going to go ahead and leave it to that, and we're going to click Enable Async JavaScript. You could choose to also enable it for logged in users, but I'm not going to be doing so because I'm the only logged in user. You can also make sure to enable it for cart and checkout pages for WooCommerce. Just make sure that you test these pages to make sure you don't run into issues. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click apply defer with jQuery excluded. For most websites, that is the ideal configuration. The reason for that is because jQuery by default is very commonly broken. It's also a dependent for most websites. So if you go ahead and you defer all scripts and something was dependent on jQuery being render blocking, such as an inline script for a slider, you're going to run into an issue. But by deferring the JavaScript, we gain a couple of advantages, notably that we the site will render much faster. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it real quick just so that way I can test and show it to you. But here we go. So our load time was 1.24 seconds. Our DOM content was 992 milliseconds. We're going to reload it. Now our load time was 948 milliseconds and our DOM time was 733 milliseconds. So it, it did have a fairly noticeable impact on our render speed. And the reason for that, because the JS is no longer blocking the page from being rendered. As you can see, it's now set with the defer attribute. When the page is set to defer, the JS will be executed after the onload event time, which is typically the point when all your CSS, your HTML, and everything is already drawn in, the page looks ready. This plugin is very simple, and it does allow you to do some basic exclusions. Um, for instance, if you wish to exclude a script from, def uh, to include a script to defer, let's say I have that GitHub JS. Let's see what happens if I try it pasting this. Doesn't look like it seems to work for uh, third parties, but if it did, that would be awesome. And you could choose to exclude a script outright if you're not including it, but if, if you don't want it to be deferred. So for instance, we had jQuery excluded, but we didn't have jQuery migrate excluded. Uh, jQuery Migrate is a companion library that kind of adds some backwards compatibility. So we want to make sure that jQuery Migrate is not being deferred. So we want to exclude the script just like this and the defer attribute goes away. You can also exclude entire plugins by declaring its directory right here by just specifying its name and it will exclude the entire plugin from being deferred. My recommendation with this is, is if you're going to exclude an entire plugin, you're much better off trying to do this as a means of determining what particular script is not render blocking. A plugin like WooCommerce can load, let's just say six JavaScript files. And if only one of those files is breaking because it's deferred, you should still defer the rest of the JS. That way, the website is still at optimal performance and you're not breaking anything. But the easiest method, if you have something that's not working, is you just pick the thing and you just slap it on there. One thing I will say is that it also aggregates the options from all plugins, not plugins that are just enabled, which is slightly annoying. You can also just exclude an entire theme. Again, only the theme, all the themes. And that's kind of it. It's a very simple plugin and it's very easy to integrate. It has GT Matrix reporting functionality built in, but I wouldn't use it. GT Matrix is just easy to access to the website directly and it's just as reliable. Uh, great plugin, 
Don't have any complaints with it. It's a simple way to use if you're trying to defer your JavaScript. But what I will say is you shouldn't use this plugin if you're already using an optimization plugin like Auto Optimize or WordPress Rocket or any other optimization plugin that can handle deferring or combining and minifying your assets. The reason for that is you're just doubling up on the functionality for no extra benefit. And you could even cause some issues if those plugins have the same set of functionality and you're trying to use both at the same time. Quick, easy, simple plugin. If you have a question about it, you can feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll try my best to help you out, but it's really straightforward. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.